Yeah, how's everyone doing? Good, I hope you know. Yeah, the Atari VCS is awesome, you know. I'm playing uh, Manx TT Superbike uh, for the Sega Saturn on my Atari VCS. And uh, I think this is pretty awesome, like, in my opinion, you know. Um, and it's... Uh, You know, yeah. So when, when, when I found out that we, we could play Sega Saturn games on my Atari VCS, it was like this is awesome, you know. Yeah, it was some slow down here and there, but it's still playable, like you know. And we think it's awesome, you know. Uh, Thanks, TT Superboy. This was in the arcade back in the day, you know. We thought it was awesome, like, you know. Yeah, actually, in the arcade, it's actually on like a motorcycle thing that turns right or left and all the handlebars and everything. Uh, this is the Sega Saturn version. Look, like I said there is some slowdown in places, but it's very playable. There's no lag with the controls. But, and um, like, the game runs at 30 frames per second normally on a real Saturn, so this is running at about, let's say, 20 to 25 frames, and it's still playable, people, you know. Just the, the audio is a bit slower, everything is a bit slower, but it's still playable. And um, I'm playing the the, the uh, tracks in, in there's, there's, there's two courses, there's a Legacy Coast and the TT course. Uh, now, we've, we've raced uh, both tracks normally, now I'm racing both of them in um, re reverse, you know. And it's an awesome game, people, um, in my opinion. And... Uh, it, the Saturn version was was was, was pretty cool. Uh, it wasn't uh, identical uh, to the arcade version. The arcade version had uh, what sixty frames per second or, or, or a polygon count, but it was still awesome, you know. And then uh, when, when I found out that we could play um, Sega Saturn games on my Atari VCS, I was like, God, oh, this is great, like you know. But people tell me that uh, trying to emulate Sega Saturn games is very difficult, you know. But to me, this is the um accept, uh, acceptable league, you know. Now I'm doing this too on my emulation on my Atari VCS, you know. Now the the suite is called Retro Games that online, you know. So uh, you know um, well, that's my opinion. Now um, not 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 every Sega Saturn game works, but most of them do, and uh, which is cool, league, you know. Now like I said, there is a bit slow down, but just it's still playable, league, you know. And I'm playing the game using the uh, the VCS model controller. Uh, I'm doing this one handed like I have the, the camera in my left hand and I'm, I'm controlling the game with, with my right hand. So this is pretty awesome. To just hold down the accelerator button, uh, which is um, y, uh, y, the Y uh, button on the Atari VCS controller. And the, the left stick, the, the, the red left, left stick controls the bike. Now... You can set up the controls any way you want, but that's the way we, we have mine done, you know. And uh, the D-pad doesn't work, and the, the trigger buttons uh, don't work, so I'll just keep that in mind. Um, but uh, the left stick and the right stick uh, work, you know. Um, now, the Sega Saturn has um, six buttons, six face buttons, you know. Uh, so, um, for the... On the Sega Saturn controller, you have A, B, C, X, Y, Z, you know, six buttons, you know. Now, uh, the VCS controller only has four face buttons, but um, you can use the um, the uh, right stick, like uh, left for the Y button and right and the right stick for the uh, X button, if you know what I mean. And what, what that does, it, 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 it controls the camera, like, you know. You can go behind the boy car, um, first person view, if you know what I mean. But it's awesome, in my opinion. It's, it's very playable. Uh, in my opinion, yeah. Uh, so if if you like playing Sega Saturn games and if you like playing Manx TT Super Bike on your Atari VCS, you can do it, like you know. There, there is some slowdown, but it's still playable, people. And it, it's not that much worse than the actual Saturn version. So like I said, there's no lag. It's just a, a lot, a bit slower. Like look, like I said the Saturn version runs at 30 frames per second. I, I, I say this is running at 20 to 24 frames. And pretty cool, like, you know. And this is an awesome game, um, in my opinion. Um, now, uh, the Sega Saturn version has two modes. It has arcade mode and the Saturn mode. I'm playing the Saturn mode now. Now, the Saturn mode, you can, there's more bikes to choose from. They're all different colours, but they all have different handling, different acceleration, 
uh, uh, different um, um, <laughs> we'll just lock the man off his bike there you know so um, yeah, yeah so it's awesome in my opinion you know um, in, my, in my opinion um, so yeah I mean now uh, if if your Atari VCS is, up, is upgraded uh, this will work too and I'll say it'll probably work better like you know but um, it all depends on you know how fast your internet is you know, and the 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 emulator that 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 you're using to play the game, but um, just there's only two sites that uh, that I'm, I'm aware of that play Sega Saturn games on on the Atari VCS. This site here is called Retro Games um, that online, you know. Now there's another site called One Up Online Emulator right? that has Sega Saturn games as well, uh, but Manx TT Superbike for some reason doesn't work on that site. Now there's another site called um. Um, what's it called? It's called um, VZ, the V O E Z Z E D, uh, uh, dot com, right? And uh, yeah, that has Sega Saturn games as well. But again, Manx TT Super Boy it doesn't work on that site either. So this is the only site that I know that where Manx TT Super Boy works, like you know. And this site is is called Retro Games that online. So so all you have to do is type it in. On Chrome and your Atari VCS, it's it, it awesome, people. Uh, Final lap, uh, so yeah, yeah. So the, the Atari VCS is awesome. Uh, there's a uh, two new games on the Atari VCS star, um, Battle Rockets, and the other one is called um, uh, I, can't, I can't remember the name of the other one. Um, Million Greg, something like that, you know, and. Uh, uh, Millie and Greg uh, is like a platforming game made by uh, Second Boss. That's the name of the uh, developer of that game. And Second Boss, they did um, Boy Lab Wars on the VCS as well, which is another great platforming game. So, yeah, I mean, there's now uh, 135 games on the Atari VCS that are more coming, like, you know. Now, the other one, Battle Rockets, um, it's, it's strange. It's hard to describe what sort of game that is, but... You're just um, moving from left to right, shooting at another opponent, and when you shoot them, they drop coins. You have to drop coins. You have to collect the coins that that the other person drops when when you shoot them, and you have to collect them as many. It, it, it shows you how many coins that you have to collect, and you have to collect them as fast as, as possible. So it's strange, but it's not not bad, you know. And it's awesome that the Atari VCS is getting all these awesome indie uh, games now, and it's more commonly, like, you know. So, um, yeah, awesome stuff. And uh, this is starting to hurt my fingers a bit because I'm stretching, if you know what I mean. Uh, but this is um, awesome, in my opinion. Um, uh, the Atari VCS. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> great stuff. Now, this green bike here it has fat, the fast acceleration, but the handling is a bit bad. But I'd rather have more acceleration than handling, you know. Uh, so, yeah, that's my choice, you know. I mean, there's other bikes that have uh, horror top speed, uh, but they don't, they don't accelerate that much. That that great, you know. I'd, I'd rather have faster acceleration over horror top speed or handling, but that's, that's, that's my preference, you know. Yeah. So yeah, awesome stuff. And uh, you just won't get bored with the Atari VCS, especially if you like playing old school games like this. You know, Sega Saturn games, uh, uh, PlayStation games, N64, uh, Sega Mega Drive, Super Nintendo. I mean, you know, brilliantly, you know. And then you have uh, all the arcade games, you know, like Outrun, Afterburner, you know, Fun Free, Street 42, uh, all the old classics, you know. Mortal Kombat, you name it, I mean, you just won't get bored and here we go, finished in first place, so pretty awesome, so that's Manx TT Super Week, you know, uh, for the Sega Saturn on, on my Atari VCS, and like I said, uh, all I have to do is go to Chrome on your Atari VCS and just type in um, either Sega Saturn games online or retro games that online, and yeah, you know, now this this story, um it is sponsored by a dirty website, so just X all that stuff. If if you have kids, uh, just X all that stuff, 
and then you can choose again but it is sponsored by Dirty Web so you just, just keep that in mind you know if you are going to use it so if you have kids and stuff like that just X all that stuff and then you can select the game like you know but uh, there's other sites that are, that, are, that are sponsored by Virgin Media and other companies and stuff like that uh, but this site in particular retro games that are known it is uh, sponsored by a dirty website so just keep that in mind if you have kids and stuff you know uh, so that's some stuff um, so this is the TT cars in um, reverse so I'm just going to end the video there because uh, my fingers are getting sore from stretching my fingers so yeah the Atari VCS is awesome and I'm just going to go back to the main uh, dashboard and show, show you the two new games that are that that are available for the Atari VCS, you know, in, in the Atari VCS star. So this is a a a a Battle of Rockets, you know, and uh, Million Greg, you know. Now, uh, Battle of Rockets is four ninety nine, and Million Greg is nine ninety nine. So, that's in my opinion. And uh, see, you had a house there. Now that's a free game. All you have to do to get that is to go to system on your Atari VCS three. Right? And then go down to um, uh, redeem code, right? And just type in trick or treat all one word in capital letters and then redeem it. And you have Haunted House uh, 2600 for free. So that's awesome. So, like, if you want to get Haunted House 2600 for free, it's just go to redeem code on your Atari VCS and type in trick or treat all one word, no spaces, all, ca all capital letters, right? So yeah, I mean, I have some stuff, and um, yeah, so like, you know, there's 135 games, at, and more are coming people, so uh, the Atari PCS is here to stay, uh, Atari are 100% committed to the Atari VCS, uh, you know, uh, but uh, Atari are doing other things with the Atari 2600 Plus, cartridges hats t-shirts all sorts of cool stuff but they're they they are committed to the atari vcs so don't listen to people that are saying that it's finished it's under power there's all this stuff it's it's awesome people you know and there's more more games to come now on tuesday there's going to be an update to uh atari 50 right? so they're saying that new games are going to be added to to atari 50 now i hope um one of those games is Night Driver because for some reason it wasn't included when Atari 54 came out. And I was actually complaining to, to Atari about that. I says, look, mm. how come Night Driver wasn't included in the in, in Atari 50? Because Night Driver came out in 1976 and it's a big deal for Atari at the time. Uh, Night Driver came out in the arcades in 76, long before Asteroids Centipede or Missile Command. But for some reason... It keeps getting the cold shoulder. I don't know I don't know why that is like, you know, but uh, I hope uh, on Tuesday, like I said, they're gonna be updating Atari fifty and I hope Night Driver is on there, you know. And I hope uh next year or whatever, uh they bring out Night Driver recharged. I mean, people want this game and people have have, have been asking for we've we've certainly been asking for Night Driver recharged all the time. Uh, but, uh thankfully on Anstream uh, you can play the arcade version of Night Driver, which I'm gonna go to right now, like you know. And uh, look at this game came out in 1976, and it revolutionised behind the car driving, if you know what I mean. Like, well, and if it wasn't for Night Driver, there'd be no racing games with that perspective. You know what I mean? There'd be no league like, outrun, there'd be no pole position, there'd be no farther horizon far, whatever. You know, in, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, Night Driver is an all time classic and I hope Atari do it justice, you know, um and make a, a recharge version. Uh I think they will. It's in the it's in the they know that people want want a, a new version of this game, you know. And it'd be correct because look at the said in nineteen seventy six this uh, uh, Night Driver came out and it I mean it was of that year, like nineteen seventy six, Night Driver was the eighth the eight highest grossing game in the arcade, so it made Atari a lot of money, like you know, and um, it revolutionised um, behind the car driving, in my opinion, because before that, all driving games were top down look, if you know what I mean, like you know, and it's awesome, like you know, 
and uh, it, Night Ruler came out for the Atari 2600 1980 I believe or 1981 and they added trees and houses and other cars so awesome and uh, uh, I'm using the uh, VCS controller I'm going as slowly as possible here uh, but yeah, you have uh, well, um, about 100 seconds to get as far as you can and your score goes up on the left hand side it's a brilliant game people and um yeah, so I hope Atari bring out Night River Recharge and I hope that, that they include Night River in Atari 50, you know, because it was a huge oversight. I mean, they, have, they had every other game except Night River, you know. Yeah, but we, we kept asking about Night River and Atari put the arcade version on Anstream, which is fucking awesome, you know. Uh, so, awesome stuff. And uh, it's an all time classic. And in in the new Trooper Recharge, if they do make it, they, they could put power ups on the road. You know, something like Wipeout, you can get um, Turbo Boost or Nitros or stuff like that. You know, and it'd be brilliant. Like, and I, I, I hope that they, that they keep it looking like this, 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 this sort of perspective. You know, make it like this. Don't, don't, don't make it like a top down driving game because that's, that's not the way it's meant to be. Um, but awesome in my opinion uh, no each other you know uh, it's all about getting as, as far as you can without crashing it's, it's a real driving simulator you know um, no each other you know and I'm sure the kids back in the 70s played it, ha had to learn how to drive by playing this game because you, ha you have to change gears slow down and speed up and stuff so it's very, very um, realistic in that sense you know uh, you know but some people think it's boring we don't think it's awesome no each other you know that's what we're doing right now. So I hope Atari um, bring this back, you know. Uh, people want it, you know. It'll make, it'll make Atari a lot of money. It'll make a lot of old uh, fans like myself really happy. But awesome people. And the, the Atari VCS is here to stay. And it's getting better and better all the time. And I'm hearing that the the zip code glitch has been fixed. So I'm delighted with that. Uh, people are, have been frustrated that they can't buy games on the Atari VCS star. So that seems to be fixed. So Atari are, are listening and it's a, it, Atari are, are a small team. So it'll take them a while to get t two things. But they will do it ev ev eventually. Like, you know. So yeah, I mean, I just want to put, make this video. Uh, you know, the Atari VCS is awesome. I mean... You just won't get bored, people. Um, uh, if you get tour to play in Call of Duty or anything like that, which we do from time to time, we'll come on my, on my type VCS to play a whole bunch of old uh, retro games, you know. And it's just brilliant, you know. Um, so there's more to come, people, from Atari indie devs. You know, Atari bought a uh, Total Eclipse um, studio and Night Dive studio. So there's loads to come, people. So uh, it's brilliant, you know. And it blows my mind that some people out there don't realise that Atari are back. And not only are they back, but they're doing awesome, you know. Yes, there are some minor problems here and there with the zip code glitch. And, you know, so, like for me, sometimes my, my controllers just won't connect or whatever, you know. But, you know, these are minor problems and Atari are starting them out, like I said. So, yeah, brilliant. And... Wade Rosen, he, the CEO of Atari, I mean, he's doing all the right things. Since he took over, Atari are really back with a bang, league, and it's down to him, because game-centric, he he, really, he he knows that the games are, is what people really want. Now, the T-shirts and the hats, that's, that's just a bonus. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, the, the main focus is the games. So, brilliant stuff. Like, and look at that, Boy uh, Lab Wars, uh, that's maybe second boss. I'll show, I'll show you that really quick. A second boss, they made um million Greg, you know. So, if, if we look platforming games, I mean, the Atari VCS stars tons of them, you know. And this is a, a lot like Country, if you know. If you, um, so just another brilliant game, you know. And uh, so you, you just won't get bored. You, you have four characters to choose from. I'm gonna use Teddy here. He's like a dog or something with a robot suit. So pretty awesome people, you know. Yeah, so the Atari VCS is awesome, people, and you, you just won't get bored. Simple as that, like. Uh, so, yeah, I hope everyone had a great day. Uh, roll on, all the best, and uh, bye bye.